Your Excellencies, Honoured Guests, uh, Ladies and Gentlemen, Talofa and warm Pacific greetings from Tuvalu. Last year I addressed this August Assembly proclaiming that we must take bold and alternative action today to secure tomorrow. I explained that although we needed global collaboration to end the climate crisis, we in the Pacific would not sit idly by and wait for the world to act. Today I speak again from my country, from a small islet that is likely to be one of the first spots in Tuvalu to be submerged by rising sea levels. Since COP26, the world has not acted, and so we in the Pacific have had to act. We have seen temperature rise projections remain well above 1.5 degrees Celsius, foretelling the imminent disappearance of islets like this one. We have had to take our own precautionary steps with the Future Now project. As our land disappears, we have no choice but to become the world's first digital nation. Our land, our ocean, our culture are the most precious assets of our people. And to keep them safe from harm, no matter what happens in the physical world, will move them to the cloud. Islands like this one won't survive rapid temperature increases, rising sea levels and droughts, so we'll recreate them virtually. Piece by piece, we'll preserve our country, provide solace to our people, and remind our children and our grandchildren what our home once was. This is also a matter of sovereignty. We in Tuvalu are taking bold steps to ensure that our statehood and our maritime boundaries are permanently maintained, despite extreme land loss due to climate change and sea level rise. Our digital nation will provide an online presence that can replace our physical presence and allow us to continue to function as a state. We have been working on these initiatives for the past year, building our capacity to retain and preserve our nation and the unity of our people, even as climate change spirals out of control. Global action must be taken to provide the best case scenario, but we in the Pacific are planning and preparing for a worst case scenario. We need to be able to secure our statehood, our maritime boundaries and our endowments, no matter what happens in the future. The world's inaction has led our Pacific region to take greater action and forge our own path as leaders on the international stage. But our action alone cannot stop the current trajectory of climate change. Only concerted global effort can ensure that Tuvalu does not move permanently online and disappear forever from the physical plane. Our Tuvaluan culture dictates that we all must share responsibility for the global predicament caused by the climate crisis. Together, we must stop fossil fuels emissions and fossil fuels production and majorly boost financing for loss and damage, mitigation and adaptation measures. It is not just Tuvalu that is affected, but the world is facing extreme weather events and shocking temperatures. Without a global conscience and a global commitment to our shared well-being, we may soon find the rest of the world joining us online as their lands disappear. It has long been the time for action but we have not stepped up to the challenge. We must start doing so today. Otherwise, within a lifetime, Tuvalu will only exist here. Paftailasi, Tuvalu Mateatua.